Hey everyone, it's Cindy with Living Acts Family Church. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm here to continue the word to you in 22 with the reading of Genesis chapter 23. Sarah lived 127 years. These were the years of the life of Sarah. So Sarah died in Kerajath, Arba, in the land of Canaan, and Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. Then Abraham stood up from before for his dead, and spoke to the sons of Heth, saying, I am a foreigner and a visitor among you. Give me property for a burial among, place among you, that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the sons of Heth answered Abraham, saying to him, Hear us, my lord, you are a mighty prince among us. Bury your dead in the choicest of our burial places. None of us will withhold from you his burial place, that you may bury your dead. Then Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, the son of Heth. And he spoke with them, saying, If it is your wish that I bury my dead out of my sight, hear me and meet with Ephron, the son of Zohar, for me, that he may give me the cave of Machpelic, which he has, which is at the end of his field. Let me give it to me at the full price, as property for a burial place among you. Now Ephron dwelt among the sons of Heth, and Ephron the Hittite answered Abraham, in the presence of the sons of Heth, all who entered at the gate of his city, saying, Now, my lord, hear me. I give you the field and the cave. It is in it. I give it to you in the presence of the sons of my people. I give it to you. Bury your dead. Then Abraham bowed himself down before the people of the land, and he spoke to Ephron in the hearing of the people of the land, saying, If you will give it, please hear me. I will give you money for the field. Take it from me, and I will bury my dead there. And Ephron answered Abraham, saying to him, My lord, listen to me. The land is worth four hundred shekels of silver. What is that between you and me? So bury your dead. And Abraham listened to Ephron, and Abraham weighed out the silver for Ephron, which he had named in the hearing of the sons of Heth. 400 shekels of silver, currency of the merchants. So the field of Ephron, which was in Machpelish, which was before Machamri, the fields and the cave which was in it, and all the trees that were in the field, which were within all the surrounding borders, were deeded to Abraham as a possession in the presence of the sons of Heth, before all who went in at the gate of the city. And after this, Abraham buried Sarah, his wife, in the cave of the field of Machpelah, before Mammoth, Mamari, in the land of Canaan. So the field and the cave that is in it were deeded to Abraham by the sons of Heth as property for the burial place. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay tuned tomorrow where we continue with the reading of Genesis chapter 24.